How do I syndicate my chromatin in the syndication chip protocol? I'm Function, senior scientist in the chip group at Seal Signaling Technology, and this is CST Tech Tips. CST has two chip protocols, one using syndication and one using asthmatic methods for chromatin fragmentation. This video covers the syndication protocol, in which syndication facilitates both cell and nuclear lysis and the fragmentation of chromatin. If, if you are performing CHIP with the asthmatic protocol, refer to our other video of syndicating in the asthmatic CHIP protocol. Whichever protocol you are using, always keep sample on ice during and between syndication cycles to avoid warming up. Second, you want to insert the sonicator probe tip to the bottom of the tube and adjust sonicator settings like amplitude to avoid the bubbles during sonication. Otherwise, your target protein could get denatured and you can lose your chip signal. For chip and chip seek, the ideal fragment size is less than 1000 base pairs. In the sonication protocol, chromatin fragment size depends on total sonication time. As you can see in this sonication time course experiment, sonication for 4, 8, or 12 minutes all yield fragmented chromatin DNA of desired size, and the longer sonication time leads to slightly smaller chromatin fragments. However, when we look at the target enrichment using these chromatin samples, 4 minutes of sonication provides the optimal level of target enrichment. More interestingly, you can see that oversonication is even worse than endosonication. Oversonication likely damages the chromatin integrity by either dissociating the target protein from DNA or by denaturing the target protein or its antibody epitopes. Therefore, we suggest you spend a little time optimizing your assay to identify the minimal amount of the sonication required to obtain the desired size of chromatin fragments. Thank you for watching. You can find four protocols for all applications on each antibody's product page at silksignal.com. If you have any questions about an antibody or protocol, you can get in touch with one of our scientists at silksignal.com slash support. Don't forget to subscribe for new tech tips videos, and we will see you next time. Good luck with the experiments.